Hello, AP Latin students. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you are reviewing and getting ready for this APLAT exam here, the 2023 AP Latin examination, uh, and uh, really just in a couple weeks. And I'm here to give you my fourth prediction for what I think will appear on this year's exam. And we are looking at book two today. All right, so I gave you three predictions, three little passages from book one. Here is one from book two. And the biggest reason that I think 274 to 286 might appear on the exam that you're going to take here in a couple weeks, uh, biggest reason is that despite this passage being connected to, to all of the AP syllabi going all the way back to the mid 80s, it has never once, with the exception of a very, very, very small chunk, about three lines, three or four lines, uh, to an outdated, antiquated um, assessment uh, type from, from the, the 80s, uh, 80s and early 90s, this has never appeared on an AP exam, on a published free response section or published multiple choice section, practice test, nothing. And for a speech to have never appeared is, is really remarkable. The AP exam loves speeches. So I want you to take a look at 274 to 286 uh, and study this closely because of course, you know, if it shows up, you're gonna you're gonna kill it and you're really gonna separate yourself from the pack. But the other thing is that they're just there are some really important uh, items here in this in this passage that you can carry over to your knowledge of of other things. Um, and one of them very simply is just we've got a lot of proper nouns here. We've got Hectorre, we've got Achille, Denam, Frigios. We've got uh, going down to the the 280s here, Dardanii, Tucrum. We got Hector again. And one of the things that the AP loves to ask, even if this passage specifically doesn't appear, is, okay, Dana'um. Well, who, to whom does that refer, right? Is that Greeks or Trojan? Prigios, who, to whom does that refer? Um, Achilles, tell me about Achilles. Who is Hector? You know, that kind of thing. Dardanii. Um, all of that kind of stuff, that background knowledge that, that is incorporated into a multiple choice question or a short answer question, that kind of thing. Um, the other thing is that if it ends up being uh, a translation, um, then you, you're you going to be ahead of the game in terms of there's some really tough vocabulary here. So paying some extra special attention to this will really pay off big time, of course, if it shows up on the exam. Um, now, one of the th things you can do is you can go to the Bolchesi Carducci Lumina platform and you can take some mock question sets over this, whether they're free response or multiple choice. You can go to AP Classroom, and hopefully they have uh, some questions about this section. Um, and, uh, and of course, you can search also on my YouTube channel and find my translation of this section. And uh, hopefully that helps answer some questions there. But whatever you do, whatever you study, good luck. Good luck on the 2023 AP Latin exam. Go get that five. Take care.